For its next trick, MSI takes the GP66 Leopard, and transforms it into an absolute killer of a mobile computer, called the Vector GP66. We are not overestimating the device. After all, it comes with up to a Core i9-12900H, and up to an RTX 3080 Ti with the whopping 150 watts of TGP. Actually, MSI boasts a so-called overboost technology, which should allow the CPU and the GPU to run at a total of 195 watts, 150 watts for the graphics card, and 45 watts for the processor. Presumably, this is the thermal efficiency of the cooling setup as well. However, we are yet to find this out in the review. First, let's check out the design. It is a combination of sleekness and aggression, which MSI somehow managed to marry into one good-looking package. In addition to that, the structure of the device is very rigid, with the base being resistant to both flex and keyboard bends. The laptop weighs about 2.4 kilos, which is a bit on the heavy side, but we can let it slide, considering the hardware it houses. In terms of input-output, you get a total of three USB type A's, a USB type C with display port output, a LAN port, and an audio jack. There are two more display outputs, in the form of an HDMI 2.1 connector, and a mini display port 1.4. Both of these ports allow transmitting 8K resolution at 60Hz which is great. Interestingly, this laptop comes with DDR4 memory, as opposed to the DDR5 used in other 12th generation Intel platforms. Thankfully, you can fit up to 64GB in dual channel mode. As for the storage, there are two M.2 PCIe X4 slots, which fit generation 4 drives. You can take a look at our teardown video to see how to open the device. MSI Vector GP66 in the configuration we tested has a 165Hz QHD IPS panel. It comes with a good contrast ratio, comfortable viewing angles, and super-fast pixel response times. What is more impressive, however, is the fact that it completely covers the DCI-P3 color gamut. This results in a really vibrant and attractive image and our gaming and web design profile improves the color accuracy so much that the display could be used even for professional work with colors. Unfortunately, you have to deal with a bit short battery life. We got more than 5 hours of web browsing, or 4 hours and 30 minutes of video playback, which is unimpressive, to say the least. Only 2 per 100 people watching this video are subscribers. If you decide to just start following us, we'll be able to reinvest more in our laboratory thus making even more helpful videos for you. Thank you, you're awesome. You think that this laptop is a beast? Well, you are right. Especially if you see the configuration with a Core i9-12900H, and the RTX 3080 Ti. The brand new God of War PC game can be run at ultra graphics quality with 150 FPS on the RTX 3080. That was the last. <laughs> Need for Speed Heat is also no match for this GPU as it runs with 110 FPS at max settings, 1080p resolution. So, if you are willing to pay the small fortune this laptop costs, you will get one of the best gaming notebooks up to this date. Plus, it will come at a very reasonable form factor, which makes the deal even sweeter. Indeed, its battery life kind of sucks, but the ton of performance that comes with it should make it up to you. If you want to see the rest of the tests and more details about the device, you can check out our in-depth review. The link is in the video description below.